Brenda Del Grasso. I'm a teacher here at McEwen School. I teach fifth and sixth grade science. And today I'd like to talk to you about our rain garden. The students at the school have helped to put the rain garden in to maintain it. They have planted the rain garden. They have shoveled dirt. They've shoveled mulch. They weed. The rain garden is about two years old. It was just a big patch of grass. It was installed to help to take some of the water from our roof and filter it down, back down into the ground instead of running over the pavement and picking up litter and debris, salt, sand, oil from cars. The water trickles into the rain garden and gently is released back into the ground. So students from the school had an opportunity to participate in a stormwater camp this summer. This is the second year that we've had the camp. We had about 18 students um, join us for stormwater camp. They were range in ages from fourth grade to sixth grade. Um, we had some seventh graders come back to join us. The students learn about conserving water. They learned about our watershed and how it works. They learned about impervious and pervious surface area. We calculated the rainwater that runs off the parking lot and we tracked how it flows into the Paulinskill River. We've also um, done some fun things. We made rain barrels that you connect to your gutter and it collects more of the rainwater off of the roof and then you can use that water to water your garden or your lawn. We also did some trips. Rutgers has some best practices sites in Parsippany and students visited and saw different ways to handle storm water. It's interesting to see how the students relate when they start talking about pervious pavement and, and surfaces and they watch and actually test how water drains into the ground. They'll mention, they'll be somewhere, they'll see a standing puddle of water, they'll say that's impervious. They also have um, picked up on a lot of the different types of plants. Their favorite is the Joe Pye weed that you see in back of me. It's been a great experience to watch them interact in their environment and to learn about how to manage it and how to conserve and preserve the environment. Hopefully this will be a lasting lesson that they'll bring with them through their adulthood and they'll have a different outlook on how to care for the environment than a lot of us do.